Today I'll be presenting the first in human trial of the non-covalently binding BTK inhibitor LOXO305 in patients with CLL and B-cell malignancies. This is very important as covalent BTKs have been active in patients with CLL, but we see discontinuations due to adverse events or discontinuations due to resistance. A major form of resistance observed is the development of CIS481 mutations. So this is an area where patients are at need in CLL for additional therapies. LOXO305 was designed to be very selective and active in this particular patient population, and because of the mechanism of action, can actually overcome BTK resistance. So we conducted a phase one dose finding study with a three by three design with doses escalating between 25 and 200 milligrams in patients with CLL and mantle cell lymphoma, all of whom had relapsed refractory disease. The take homes from this abstract was LOXO305 was active. Response rates in CLL were nearly 80%, and mantle cell 50%. Not only was there a high response rate, but responses were durable, where we saw all patients with CLL remaining on therapy as per the data cutoff, and 24 in, out of 28 patients in total remaining on therapy. The drug was well tolerated, which supports the fact that this drug is a selective BTK inhibitor, very minimal in terms of adverse events, no observed BTK specific adverse events like AFib or bleeding or hypertension. So in summary, LOXO305 was active across B-cell histologies, regardless of dose, regardless of whether or not patients were wild type or mutated for CIS481. And so these results are encouraging and have led now to dose expansion cohorts. And in 2020, expansion of the trial to look at combination studies in CLL.